I'm stabbing my jelly. Oh, he is awake. How are you feeling, sweetheart? I feel fine. Thank you, mother. Wednesday, April 10th. Dear Diary, Today was one of those mornings where you wake up and you feel brand new, as if some type of guardian came down and repaired you in your deep reveries. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Mother. Good morning, Father. Michael, I bet you're so excited to see Caroline again tonight. Be sure to be home by 6 o'clock, Michael. Yes, Mother. I wouldn't miss it for the world. My recent days have been foggy because I seem to have come down with a cold. Hello? Tell Mother to call Dr. Cook. Alright then. No problem. So I hear our little Walt Whitman has been busy, busy, busy. So when will the bestseller hit the stores? Well, I have been spending the majority of my time on my college essays, so I actually have been putting my other work on hold. Huh. And for the record, I much prefer Gary Snyder to Walt Whitman. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh the salmon is delicious. No surprises there. Is the sauce too tangy? No, it is perfect. Carolyn is making serious progress in her voice lessons. Is it not true, sweetheart? Oh, Daddy, oh. please. <laughs> Did she? Well, is there a chance we could get a sneak preview? Just a fragment. In the mirror I see my reflection As clear as the day is close to perfection In their eyes I see they grant me protection, and I, in return, do give them affection. Good morning, Michael. You're not going to eat? No. so hungry. So Michael, what is on the agenda today? Um, <clears throat> puzzles, I guess. Show me when you are done. <sighs> so Michael, I hear that Brown has an excellent writing department. Nancy's friend is the She has nothing but nice things to say about their journalism department. So Carolyn is excelling in her voice lessons at choir. Is that not true, Care Bear? Oh, Daddy, come on. Really, let us hear a little tune. Wait! Caroline, <laughs> um, can we talk somewhere? What? Oh, but... They want me to sing for them. Carolyn, please. Just for a second. Okay. May we please be excused? Of course. Of course. Look, Carolyn, you're not going to believe what happened. It's this. I recognize this plate because I have the exact same one at my house. Michael, it's just a plate. Beautiful plate. Michael? Michael, your mother and I are going out. Do not stay up too late. Dr. Jeffrey Cook, Perfection Consultant for you Hi, hello. I'm calling for a... a malfunction? 258 Kirkland Street.
I gave you a right. Did you not get a right? Michael T. Laughlin, order 1662720. Brown hair, brown eyes, tall, lean, hand eye coordinated, writer of nonfiction, poetry, memoirs, journalism, leg and back flexibility, enhanced metabolism, stable iron content, typing, and memory skills. Sheesh, this is the perfect son that you asked for. Yes, we did get a writer. We did get brown eyes uh -huh. and tall and all that. Uh -huh. But I just cannot. Uh, have Michael go through these phases all the time. Oh. I hate to see him like that, and the whole operation costs a fortune. Here, we brought his diary back. We've been using it to see if we can try and fix Michael. Every month it becomes more and more frequent. This is very shocking. <laughs> Sweetheart? I feel fine. Thank you, Mother.